you do not hire a huge tractor, a destroyer, and use it to knock down dominoes. You don't even use it to just mow the lawn. You use it to bring down trees and forests. That's exactly what the Glazers are intending to do. With Ineos, as it is being reported, that uh, the new partners of the Glazers in owning Manchester United are going to be given more authority beyond football. I'll tell you details about that. Meanwhile, Karim Benzema away from Al Itihad. Is it likely to happen? But what exactly is the fate of Manchester United's striking department following news that Anthony Marshall is going to be out until April? Welcome to the United Hotspot. My name is Webb, and here is all Manchester United news today. And let me give it to you, but I'll start it off with the latest, the huge one uh, concerning the new guys who have brought a new breath of fresh air into this beloved club of ours that we are beginning to lose hope in. Well, Ineos apparently has excited the Glazers. Remember, they are honestly, as we've all seen, as they have all agreed, uh, they are clueless about football. They are obviously so clueless about the football matters. That is why they sold 25% of the football stake to a partner who they believed knew what he was doing now. It looks like we clearly believe now that Ineos know what they're doing following the surprise acquisition of the Manchester City man Omar Berada. Now, that excited the Glazers. They blessed it as well. Remember, they have got a huge say as well because they do own the majority, you know, the majority of the club. But they have grown to increasingly respect and, uh, you know, and, and, and trust Ineos because, I mean, and yeah, Sergio Bratti was saying this was after a series of talks and conversations for years trying to engage them to sell the club to him. And they have believed that this man knows what he's doing and he actually wants to see Manchester United, you know, come up uh, up top again when it comes to football issues. Now, the move to bring in Omar Berada also showed them that this guy can actually get things done, even with the business. Remember, the success on the pitch will only increase the business. Now, if you bring in an Omar Berada, who has been a director of football operations at Manchester, in Manchester City, but also a man who has got a rich history when it comes to running business to do with the money, money talks and money matters at Manchester United, they felt, honestly, we cannot just bring him and just, you know, let him you know, run the football. He is going to have a say when it comes to the business, which is certainly a thing that the Glazers are so interested in. I mean, they do love to make the money. And if you've got a guy who can make you more money, obviously you want to get him, to, to keep him. So that's a bit of the update coming through. So Ineos has earned the trust to get to, to get into matters beyond just the football. Now, remember, there was a big, big, big update earlier on, I think today or yesterday, late yesterday, uh, when it was confirmed that the man who has been in charge of negotiations for Manchester United is leaving the club. And uh, it was confirmed. Now, for me, this is the best readers for Manchester United because the biggest issue we've had has been poor negotiations. We've been talking about that day in and day out. I can't be a better negotiator than whoever has been doing negotiations for Manchester United. So this boy, he looked like a young guy. He did, uh, it was confirmed that United were parting ways with him. Of course, the Glazers also feel the too much money they have been putting in without getting results had, cannot go on just like that when they have got a new guy, you know, like Omar Berada. So a lot of great progress going on with Manchester United. That's a bit of the big, great news that we are seeing. Trust me, guys, who wanted Sheikh Jassim, we do love him. We were for a full takeover. But this is what we have. Trust me, it's not bad at all. It's looking good for Manchester United. Now, away from that, uh, let's talk about uh, Anthony Martial. Now, the latest news that is coming through is that uh, it has been confirmed, by the way, by Manchester United, that Anthony Martial is going to be having, uh, has had a successful surgery in his groin because he has been complaining of some pain in his groin. So they had to operate him and it has been a successful surgery on him. And it's going to see him out of action for about a whole 10 weeks, meaning he will be back in April. Now, meaning we won't have a backup striker for Rasmus Hoyland between now and April. United do need to buy. But also remember, it was confirmed that United are not going to trigger a contract extension or even give him a new contract. So meaning, Marshall, like we've been saying, most likely won't be playing football for Manchester United. So question is, are we going to finally be buying someone in Jan. Remember, 
it is believed that Ineos has uh, you know uh, put a lock on January moves because of course the money is not there but also they don't want to rush into making signings so but the situation without without Marshall without a backup striker for Hoyland we certainly think maybe this could be a department you might want to solve this early this January so that's where we go to the next one Karim Benzema so there has been talks that Karim Benzema could be the guy we go for as Manchester United because he's not happy. Apparently, he has been holding crunch talks with Al Ittihad, his club in Saudi. He's not happy there. He has what had come out to state that you know all oh, this is here. Say, but what is known is he's not happy at the club and he's open to a short move away from uh, Al Ittihad and also uh, being loaned out of Saudi Arabia. He doesn't want to stick around Saudi, so it is possible. But he says it's not going to happen anytime soon, at least not in January. So. A uh, 36 year old striker who many believe would be the perfect teacher uh, for Rasmus Hoyland because we keep talking about getting a, a bigger experienced striker for Hoyland, who is a prospect to learn from, would be the perfect person. But apparently, it's not, it, it's not likely to happen in January. At least Karim Benzema is not so excited about moving this January. Chelsea are linked with him. Uh, Arsenal are interested. Apparently, they have been inquiring about him. And so is Leo, Olympic Leo. So, what exactly will happen? Who? in the world leaves a job giving him 89 million pounds per year and which club in europe can spend that money that's exactly what karim benzina is uh, benzima rather is earning at al itihad uh, so that's also a big situation but the reality is these saudis of course they got their money they're a bit proud if you don't want to play for them it's not about the money they will let you go they won't try to tie you down i think it's even against their beliefs as serious muslims and you know uh, who who lead who, who who you know put faith first in everything they do so with karim benzema not exactly happy but might not be leaving anytime soon that's what's happening uh with uh with him uh, that side now uh, let's talk about mason greenwood guys it has been said today it has been reported that uh you know barcelona are serious about signing mason greenwood and um, they are leading the chase and in fact it is said that united has been holding talks and apparently the talks are progressive and good and look like uh, it's a matter of time that they will be getting their player, maybe, maybe not this January. And he said there is a clause that United is trying to negotiate to say that United will keep earning off any possible future sales of Mason Greenwood, but also off you know, the number of games he plays, that the more games he plays, United will keep earning money off him. So, which is a smart thing. I mean, if you can't have him play for you, at least make as much money as you can from him in your deal when he goes away because what's what, what's a given wherever he goes if he goes to barcelona mason greenwood will be playing games and uh, he will be impacting games so obviously if in our negotiation and these are the things we do want omal berada uh, to you know to take charge of and put right because those are the deals and negotiations we need to see at manchester united you've got a hot player like that who we should be selling for nothing less than 100 million but we should be earning off him for the greater good we keep earning off him because that's exactly what you want to do from such a hot player who we feel may not be happy playing for us again so it's a conversation that is being said of course our uh, reports will come out and try to refute it but we've heard about this before it's not the first time clubs like we also said that real villa real Hetafe itself have been interested in mason greenwood but barcelona look like they are the only serious club that can come out and pay over 100 million pounds for him because i mean he's the hottest winger in global football today so that's a big 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 story for us to follow and here on the united hot spot we'll be following it uh, following it for you but of course greenwood back is what we would have loved to see but it seems every day that passes it becomes increasingly unlikely the united hot spot my name is web we're going to break it at this that is a bit of a wrap up of all manchester united news today subscribe i'll catch you later fam very soon we will be returning to our live we just want to say i just came back and i'm trying of course first there's a lot of fatigue guys it's not easy to do this live regularly i don't want to start things when i'm not yet you know fully fit but the fatigue and uh, and all is you know uh, being uh, dealt with proper and i think very soon we should be back to our lives every night at exactly 10 p.m from monday to thursday and 11 p.m on friday saturday and sunday this is the united Hot sport we are as well going to be talking betting tips and advice for you but that will be on another another channel the arab money that i'll tell you about in a bit so just subscribe here and well if you love betting be ready for what's coming starting next week my name is web i'll catch you later fam